Today, we have some startling news that you won't want to overlook. Queen Camilla encountered protesters who were calling for respect for Princess Diana. April 21st has turned out to be a day full of surprises and unexpected occurrences, and we're here to bring you all the details. Before we get started, please like this video, subscribe to Secretos del Re, and follow us on Instagram for exclusive content and updates. King Charles III attended a service at Balmoral Chapel, driving himself and appearing in good health as he honored the late queen. However, Queen Camilla's behavior caught the public's attention as she seemed visibly unsettled and withdrawn throughout the day. Several photo opportunities with King Charles III piqued the curiosity of both media and social media users. During the day, it became known that protesters were advocating for respect for Diana's legacy, waving banners and asking for permission to hold tributes across England on July 1st, Diana's birthday. As the royal car, driven by King Charles with Queen Camilla inside, passed the protesters, many raised their banners and shouted requests to commemorate Diana. Eggs were thrown at the royal car, although none of them struck the vehicle. This incident underscores the public's desire to honor Diana's memory and highlights the significance of preserving her legacy. In another compelling story, King Charles III and Queen Camilla had a tense confrontation at a royal cricket event, which was caught on camera. This incident surprised onlookers and laid bare the tensions in the royal couple's marriage. King Charles III, who is currently dealing with cancer, confronted his wife directly, creating a noticeable tension from the outset. A series of disagreements and breaches of protocol led to a heated argument, with King Charles instructing the Queen to leave in an attempt to restore order. Feeling unwelcome, Queen Camilla chose to depart the palace, leaving the King alone. This moment, captured on film, reveals the seriousness of their marital issues. The event, which welcomed the West Indies cricket team, took an emotional turn when Captain Craig Brathwaite offered condolences for the devastation caused by Hurricane Barrel. In response, King Charles III committed £500,000 in aid for Caribbean nations. This exchange has fueled speculation regarding the future of their marriage, raising questions about whether a royal divorce might be on the horizon or if these disagreements are merely temporary. In a further surprising development, there are troubling reports concerning King Charles III. Despite his ongoing struggle with cancer, Recent information suggests a concerning situation with potentially severe implications for Princes Harry and William. A Spanish newspaper, Inalia, published news that has caused alarm among royal family members. King Charles III, who disclosed his cancer diagnosis in February, pledged to continue his royal duties but has since been advised by medical professionals to lighten his workload, especially concerning travel. Recent findings indicate that the cancer continues, raising alarms for the royal family. It's worth noting that officially declaring cancer eliminated can take a significant amount of time, often exceeding the six or seven months that King Charles has been battling it. Therefore, it is not surprising that he still has cancer cells, particularly since he has not received full treatment due to his obligations. Princes Harry and William have reportedly spoken by phone and are deeply affected by their father's situation, shedding tears and committing to restoring their relationship. King Charles III remains hopeful vowing to fight cancer with the same resolve he has demonstrated throughout his life. However, it remains uncertain whether he will follow his doctor's recommendations or maintain his current public presence while privately managing his health struggles. Additionally, a sense of sadness has cast a shadow over the royal family as Kate and William cope with an unexpected loss this summer. The passing of Sven Goran Eriksson, who died at the age of 76 after battling pancreatic cancer, has deprived them of much-needed peace. This loss has particularly impacted Kate, who expressed her sorrow on social media. Ericsson was recognized as England's first foreign national team manager, guiding the team to the quarterfinals in two World Cups and European Championships while meeting the Prince and Princess of Wales on several occasions. Despite his illness, Ericsson achieved his dream in March by managing Liverpool legends in a charity match. Kate Middleton shared her heartfelt condolences, describing Ericsson as a gentleman of the game. The Prince and Princess of Wales have shown loyalty and affection for those who have supported them, and during this difficult time, we encourage you to leave supportive messages for Ericsson's family and the royals grieving this loss. In summary, today's events have unveiled a complex blend of public sentiment surrounding Princess Diana, marital conflicts in the royal couple, King Charles III's ongoing health challenges, and personal losses faced by the royal family. Stay tuned for further updates, and be sure to subscribe to our channel for all the latest royal news.